Hello, welcome to AERA Solutions channel. In this video, I will be presenting to us in summary some of the things we study in mechanical vibration. And these are present in three broad areas. First, modeling, then we'll look at experimentation, and after that, we we'll look at how we do analysis in vibrations. Modeling could be in what we call long parameter modeling or what you call continuous par distributed parameter models. For analysis, you are either analyzing simulated, simulated responses, that is a um, result you get from solving some of your models, or you are analyzing data you get from experiments. Long parameter modeling, this um, is just a procedure that involves the representation of the system or structure that you want to analyze its vibration with, a, with another system that comprises of spring, damper and mass elements, what we call elements of vibration, combined together. And this configuration varies from the one analyst to another. And it could take any form, like a bike could be modeled as stores, and you can have another form of model for the same bike. But the onus becomes how to get equivalent values of these spring, dampers and mass of, for the system that is being modeled. Could also be anything, even a biological system like the entire human body that is vesting. Then there's what you call distributed parameter modeling. This um, is a form of procedure that involves representing the entire system by what you call a mesh model and try to analyze it using specific governing equations, which, could, which usually is of this form. And this can be done for any kind of system. Like this is a shaft model with what you call a governing equation for torsional vibration in shafts. And then you can also do same for a B element that is undergoing any form of vibration, maybe longitudinal or, or transverse. Then measurement and experimentation. It involves trying to get vibration responses from a device using specific measuring devices for purpose of analysis or it could also involve inducing vibration into certain structure to observe how they would respond to specific vibrations. Analysis in vibration just involves um, observing the frequency or what you call period. What you are looking at the amplitude, amplitude of it could be amplitude of the displacements over time, looking at the peak values, or the amplitude of velocities, or the amplitude of acceleration. And this you do analysis either in time domain or frequency domain. And there are series of algorithm or procedures that are used to carry out analysis in vibration. In conclusion, we've talked about um, modeling and what it's involved. We've also talked about experimentation and we've talked about analyzing vibration. And everything we shall be talking about as far as the subject of mechanical vibration is concerned falls into any of these major headings. And this will be all for now. I do hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and do well to subscribe to my channel.